Elephants are the world's largest land animal. Elephants' tusks are actually enlarged incisor teeth that first appear when elephants are around two years old. Tusks continue growing throughout their lives. These tusks are made of ivory that can help them eat and protect themselves. But these beautiful tusks often cause elephants danger. They're made from ivory, a much desired object, which is why elephants are under threat. Their big ears and wrinkly skin help them stay cool. Elephants also have long trunks that are used to grab food, suck up water, or throw dirt on their backs. They keep their skin clean and protect themselves from sunburn by taking regular dust and mud baths. Elephants communicate in different ways, including sounds like trumpet calls, body language, touch, and scent. They can also communicate through sounds that create vibrations in the ground, which they may detect through their bones. Elephants are highly sensitive and caring animals, much like humans. An elephant never forgets. The elephant's temporal lobe or the area of the brain associated with memory is larger and denser than that of people, hence the saying elephants never forget. On average, male lions weigh 190 kilograms and females weigh 126 kilograms. They need this weight and power behind them to hunt large prey and defend their pride. How do lions communicate? They will perform peaceful tactile actions such as licking each other and rubbing heads. Head rubbing, or nuzzling, is a common greeting behavior for lions. They also communicate through a variety of vocalizations including purrs, snarls, meows, and hissing. Their vocalizations also differ in intensity and pitch. Lions are quite territorial and stay in the same place for many years. While resident males defend their prides from enemies, females actively defend their territories against other females. As they age, male lions develop spectacular manes. These manes, which can reach a length of 16 centimeters, are a show of authority. Their manes become darker as they age. Their manes might help protect their necks and heads from harm during fights as well as attract females. Even if it is not as quick as its cousins, the lion or the cheetah. Tigers can sprint at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour, but only over short distances. This is due to their extremely strong legs. Tigers can communicate by using their ears. To communicate with their cubs, tigresses use the white spots on the back of their ears. When a tigress perceives danger, she flattens her ears, the cubs react by crouching and hiding. They serve as flashers for the tigresses. Tigers are territorial and usually solitary in nature, interacting briefly only for mating purposes and occasionally to share their kill. The tiger's adaptations of having nocturnal habits, striped camouflage, excellent vision and hearing, sharp teeth and claws, a flexible spine, and the ability to quietly and quickly pounce on a predator are the tiger's biggest advantages to remaining alive on our planet. Tigers are good swimmers. Tigers love to swim and play in the water. Since cubs, female tigers encourage or help learn the art of hunting. They even have the ability to kill in the water. Panda Male pandas are larger than females, weighing up to 250 pounds or 113 kilograms in the wild. It is a highly specialized animal, with unique adaptations. The panda's thick, woolly coat keeps it warm in the cool forests of its habitat. The giant panda's distinct black and white markings have two functions, camouflage and communication. Giant pandas have large molar teeth and strong jaw muscles for crushing tough bamboo. Bamboo is essential to their diet. 99% of a panda's diet consists of bamboo. They need at least two different bamboo species in their range to avoid starvation, but their digestive tract retains carnivorous characteristics. Giant panda's ability to digest bamboo is low at less than 20%, and bamboo itself is low in nutrients. So, in order to keep up their energy, pandas have to eat a lot of bamboo and thus poop a lot. Deer is a wild animal that belongs to the Cervidae family. It is in the order of Artiodactyla, which means mammals with even toe hooves with each one of their foot having two small and two large hooves. Deers have about 50 species such as the reindeer, red deer, elk, white-tailed deer, and moose among others. Deer not only use their sense of smell to detect predators, but also to communicate with one another. This deer-to-deer -deer communication relies on a network of locations where deer spread their scent like on the ground and on trees and a special group of chemicals called pheromones. 
Having eyes on the sides of their heads allows deer to see in every direction except directly behind them. Mule deer's large ears increase their sense of hearing. They have hollow body hair for insulation. Their eyes and ears move independently allowing them to more accurately pinpoint danger. Their antlers are living organs. Antlers are organs, and the larger the antlers are, the healthier they are. In September, deer antlers begin to grow back since it's their mating season. A chameleon's behavioral adaptation is the color change. Chameleons change their colors to represent mood. For example, a chameleon may change to red or red-orange if it feels angry or territorial. Also, chameleons change color to match their environment. Color-changing skin helps them blend in, stand out to potential mates and intimidate rivals. Their hooded heads help them collect water in the form of dew and also impress mates. Swiveling eyes help them pinpoint fast-moving prey. Chameleons have eyes on the backs of their heads. Well, not literally, but they can move their eyes separately, with each eye having a field of 180 degrees. This means they can see 360 degrees if they need to. This is useful because it means they can see predators coming from behind them, giving them a chance to scarper if they're about to get caught. They have extremely powerful tongues and they can be twice the length of their body. Their tongues consist of both muscles and bones, and can bend around to grab their prey. Chameleons like warm, tropical environments like the rainforest. 59 unique species of chameleon live on the island of Madagascar and are found nowhere else. This is over a quarter of the world's 202 species. Gorillas can weigh over 200 kilograms and stand as tall as an average human. Gorillas are mostly herbivores, meaning they only eat up to 30 kilograms of plants daily. However, some subspecies have also been known to eat insects and snails. Gorillas are very social animals, who live together in groups. They spend a lot of time moving around their habitat in family groups, known as troops. Each troop can contain up to 30 gorillas. This usually includes a dominant male, several females, and their young offspring. Gorillas are gentle giants and display many human-like behaviors and emotions, such as laughter and sadness. In fact, gorillas share 98.3% of their genetic code with humans, making them our closest cousins after chimpanzees and bonobos. Gorillas are affectionate creatures. Giraffes are the tallest land animals. Female giraffes are up to 14 feet tall and weigh up to 1,500 pounds. Meanwhile, males are up to 18 feet tall and can weigh 3,000 pounds. At this height, a giraffe can look into a second-story window. They have one of the shortest sleep requirements of any mammal. Giraffes don't need much sleep, only between 10 minutes and 2 hours. Giraffe necks are too short to reach the ground, so they awkwardly spread their legs or kneel to reach the water. They're an easy target for predators when they're drinking so it's a relief for a giraffe that it doesn't need to drink very much. Giraffes get most of their water from their leafy meals so they only need to drink every few days. It was formerly believed that giraffes were silent, but it has since been discovered that they actually create sounds, like bellowing, snorting, hissing, flute-like noises, and low-pitched noises that are inaudible to humans. Hippo males especially use their canines for fighting. To ward off enemies, a hippo may yawn, scoop water with its mouth, shake its head, rear up, lunge, roar, grunt, chase, and make a loud wheezing sound, all of which are threat displays. A hippo can kill people if it's provoked or feels threatened. Hippos interestingly produce their own sunblock. Hippos live in sub-Saharan Africa, where the sun's UV rays are incredibly strong. Hippos have adapted the ability to produce a red, oily liquid that acts as a natural sunblock. Squirrels are members of the Sayuridae family, which includes small or medium-sized rodents. A squirrel's front teeth never stop growing which is a common characteristic of other rodents. Squirrels may lose 25% of their buried food to thieves. And that's just from members of their own species. Scatter hoarders, or squirrels with multiple caches of food have difficulty keeping an eye on all their hidden food. Fellow squirrels or birds often take advantage of this for a free meal. Squirrels zigzag to escape predators. This is an incredibly useful strategy to escape hawks and other predators. Unfortunately, it doesn't work so well on cars. Consider slowing down and giving squirrels a break. 
Squirrels may pretend to bury a nut to throw off potential thieves. Squirrels don't dig up all their buried nuts, resulting in more trees. They have accidentally contributed countless trees to our nation's forests. If you ask me, that's a pretty great reason to appreciate squirrels. They play a role in planting many oak trees. Leopards are the smallest of the large cats, which include lions, tigers, and jaguars. Female leopards weigh 46 to 132 pounds and males can be up to 50% bigger, weighing 80 to 165 pounds. Did you know that leopards do not roar like a lion? They communicate with each other through distinctive calls that sound more like a raspy bark. Leopards like to spend time alone and they mark their territory by leaving behind feces, scenting the space with urine, and scratching trees. Male and female leopards will only come together to mate. Male leopards are not involved in raising their babies. The leopard is a strong and agile climber who is often found resting on a tree branch during the day. After a kill, leopards will often stash their prey in a tree to prevent other animals such as hyenas and lions from stealing it, and they enjoy the meal for several days. Crocodiles are a type of reptile, however, they are more closely related to dinosaurs and birds than to other reptiles. First, crocodiles have special hearts and are considered to be the most sophisticated heart in the animal world. Crocodiles have the strongest bite of any animal on the planet and they have 24 teeth that they never use to chew. Although they have 24 incredibly sharp teeth, crocodiles hardly ever use them to devour their food. Instead, they use their teeth to capture, grab, and shatter their prey or food. Hedgehogs are small, spiny mammals that first evolved about 15 million years ago. Hedgehogs are omnivores, eating whatever they can get into their mouths, including slugs, millipedes, earthworms, beetles, caterpillars and other insects, as well as supplementary fruits and mushrooms. A hedgehog has between 50 hundred and 70 hundred quills, spikes. Each one lasts about a year before dropping out to leave room for its replacement. Hedgehogs are largely immune to snake venom, meaning that they'd stand as a very strong opponent against them in a fight. They could even eat it afterward, too. Hedgehogs have very poor eyesight, so they rely predominantly on their smell and hearing to navigate. Even though they might not seem like it, camels can be pretty fast runners. Despite this, it's extremely tiring for a camel to run that fast, not in the same way that you and I do. They communicate through many sounds like loud bellows and moans. They'll also blow on each other's faces as a friendly greeting. Camels have a number of adaptations to help them thrive in this extreme environment. They have long, shaggy fur that keeps them warm but which they can shed during hot months. Their wide hooves keep them from sinking into the sand. The energy-rich fat stored in their humps enables them to survive long periods without food. Camels are docile animals and rarely turn towards violence, but if they feel threatened, they can regurgitate bile, saliva, and water from their stomach to spray their attacker. They use this as a defense mechanism to distract whatever they think is a threat. Seals live on average for 25 to 30 years. Females usually live longer than males. Seals use clicking or trilling noises to communicate. They have very good vision in water, actually, they must focus on both air and water, so they have very large and round eyes. Seals have a very keen sense of smell in the air, which allows them to detect predators. Seals can hear in both water and air. They have a thick layer of fat called blubber under their skin to keep them warm in icy water. Zebras communicate with each other through various non-verbal expressions, including sniffing, but also through their ears and tail through positioning. They can turn their ears in almost any direction and they harness this to communicate their mood. For example, the ears stand erect when they are calm and friendly. It's thought that the white and black stripes of a zebra help keep them camouflaged, as it can distract and confuse any predators such as lions. Did you know that lions are colorblind? So when they see a herd of zebras it's confusing as everything is in black and white. Zebra's stripes are unique like fingerprints their black and white stripes are unique and are as distinctive as human fingerprints. Zebras are known as very gentle animals, but they can kill with their powerful kicks. Zebras are very protective of their herds. Zebras also have very different temperaments to horses. They're far more aggressive and a lot more dangerous. Zebras have been known to kick each other to death, they will viciously bite any human that comes too close, and there are even many accounts of zebras killing lions. Cheetahs are the fastest land animal on earth. 
They are capable of reaching speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. They usually only get up to these speeds in short sprints as they attack their prey, with a cheetah's average speed being around 40 miles per hour. They also have an incredibly high acceleration, with the ability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 3 seconds. Cheetahs communicate in many different ways. Some of these are through vocalizations such as purrs, bleats, barks, growls, hisses, and a high-pitched chirping sound. Another way to communicate is through marking. A cheetah will mark their territory by urinating or by cheek and chin rubbing. Cheetahs have an excellent sense of vision, which enables them to spot and chase prey from three miles away. Cheetahs also have black tear marks called malar stripes that run from their eyes down the sides of their face. This feature actually attracts the sun away from the eyes and stops the glaring sun from obstructing their view. You can see the same strategy used when football players put black smudges under their eyes. Hyenas are widespread and found in most habitats. The hyena is primarily a hunter, not a scavenger. They usually hunt alone however clans will hunt together in order to catch larger prey. They are also good opportunistic hunters. Wolves live in family groups called packs. A pack is usually made up of a male parent, a female parent and their pups from the last few years. Gray wolves have long legs that are well adapted to running, allowing them to move fast and travel far in search of food, and large skulls and jaws that are well suited to catching and feeding on large mammals. Wolves also have keen senses of smell, hearing and vision, which they use to detect prey and one another. Wolves howl in different pitches and the pitch of each wolf's howl starts low and rises as the howl continues, creating an illusion that the pack is larger than it really is. A wolf howl can be heard up to 10 kilometers away. Grizzly Bear There are eight bear species in the world. Grizzly bears can weigh upwards of 800 pounds and can measure 5 to 8 feet long. They live about 30 years in the wild and 40 years in captivity. Grizzly bears have a multitude of strengths. They are highly intelligent and have excellent memories. Detecting food from great distances away, grizzlies have a sharp sense of smell, even better than that of a hound dog. They are good swimmers and fast runners, reaching speeds as high as 50 kilometers per hour, 35 miles per hour over land. Rhinoceros. There are five species of rhino in the world. Rhinos can weigh over three tons. Sumatran rhinos are the smallest of all rhinos, but they can still weigh 600 kilograms, that's almost 95 stone. On the other hand, white rhinos are the largest of the rhino species, weighing up to 3,500 kilograms, which is mighty impressive considering they mainly eat grass and leaves. Male rhinos are called bulls and females are called cows. Their young are calves. Rhino horn is made up of keratin, the same protein which forms the basis of our hair and nails. Rhino's eyesight isn't great, they're unable to see a motionless person at a distance of 30 meters, they mainly rely on their strong sense of smell. Rhinos make an array of funny noises when they're communicating. Owl Because of the shape and the size of their large eyes, owls cannot move their eyes to look around. Instead, they swivel their entire head. Since owls have 14 neck vertebrae, compared to 7 in humans, their necks are more flexible. They also have adaptations to their circulatory systems which allow them to rotate their head up 270 degrees without cutting off blood to the brain. Silent flight, facial discs, asymmetrical or uneven ears and large forward-facing eyes are adaptations that allow our hunting owl to swoop down, grab a mouse with its sharp talons and feast, bones, hair and all. Chimpanzees are omnivorous. They are happy to eat most foods, but they tend to eat more fruit than any other food group. A chimpanzee's diet consists of everything from seeds, leaves, insects, honey, and even roots. Female chimpanzees only give birth once every five years. They can live up to their 80s. The oldest recorded chimpanzee was Little Mama, 
a captive female who was between 76 to 82 years old when she died in 2017, though the average life expectancy for captive chimps is around 38 years old. Chimpanzees can walk on two legs. Chimps get around by a lot of climbing and swinging from tree to tree. Not unlike gorillas, chimpanzees usually walk on all fours, otherwise known as knuckle walking, but have been recorded to walk on two feet on the rare occasion. Chimpanzees display a number of adaptations to help them survive. Some of these adaptations include opposable thumbs, locomotive adaptations, sharp senses, large brains, tool creation and use, complex social communities and genetic adaptations to their environments. Meerkats There are few animals on Earth who work as well together as meerkats. These squirrel-sized members of the mongoose family live in groups of different sizes, from as little as 3 to as big as 50 members. Everyone in the mob participates in gathering food, keeping a lookout for predators and taking care of the babies. Meerkats live in the deserts and grasslands of the southern tip of Africa. They are super cute, with bushy, brown striped fur, a small, pointed face and large eyes surrounded by dark patches. They average about 50 centimeters long, including their tail. These extremely social animals live together in burrows, which they dig with their long, sharp claws. Living underground keeps mob members safe from predators and out of the harsh African heat. Meerkats only go outside during the daytime. Each morning, as the sun comes up, the mob emerges and begins looking for food. They use their keen sense of smell to locate their favorite foods, which include beetles, caterpillars, spiders and scorpions. They will also eat small reptiles, birds, eggs, fruit and plants. It is believed that meerkats are immune to venoms from scorpions and predatory snakes. For most of their lives, they encounter these animals frequently in the wild. They tend to escape or walk away from the scare without as many venomous effects. Raccoons are found across southern Canada, throughout most of the United States, and into northern South America. They prefer to live in moist woodland areas. They can also be found in farmlands, suburban, and urban areas. Raccoons are omnivorous animals. Plant foods vary from fruits to nuts, including wild grapes, cherries, apples, berries, and acorns. Raccoons may also eat peaches, plums, figs, citrus fruits, watermelons, and walnuts. Despite the mischief this masked mammal can sometimes cause, raccoons play an important role in the ecosystem by serving as gardeners, pest control, and the cleanup crew. Raccoons are beneficial to ecosystems for the distribution of plant seeds. Despite their hefty size, bison are quick on their feet. When the need arises they can run at speeds up to 35 miles an hour. They can run faster than horses. Bison are key to a healthy plains ecosystem. How? Bison graze the grasses at different heights, providing nesting grounds for birds. In holes in the ground called wallows, they also roll around and compact the soil. Rainwater collects in their wallows, providing breeding grounds for amphibians and water sources for species all throughout the environment. Males wage battles for mating rights, females give birth to one calf after a nine-month pregnancy. Sea otters are considered a keystone species. Keystone species are plants or animals that play an important role in how an entire ecosystem functions. Without them, there would be large-scale, cascading impacts on the communities and other species within their ecosystem. Sea otters help keep sea urchin populations in control by eating them, which in turn ensures kelp forests are not being overgrazed and damaged by large sea urchin populations. Sea otters are undeniably one of the cutest marine mammals in Canadian waters. Not only are they adorable, but they are also incredibly intelligent and have some very unique adaptations. A sea otter can live its whole life without leaving the ocean. They eat, sleep, play and give birth in the sea. 